How's it going, guys? Alright, this is my video game pickups for April. There's quite a few surprises. It, it was actually quite a big month for games. I picked up sub-level zero Redux. This is a, like a third-person cockpit shooter. It looks pretty good. It even has procedurally generated levels. Now, I have heard it's hard, but I also heard it, it does look pretty good from what I've seen from gameplay, and I am really looking forward to trying it. I picked up Sonic Unleashed for the Wii. The reason I want to get this version is, unlike the HD version, it's kind of set up in some ways arguably better, where in the daytime sections you don't have to like basically get lucky to grab like the special sun medals. So it's debatable, but this version seems like it was set up better, designed better, and I really want to give it a try. I picked up Calling for the Wii. This is a horror game. It's kind of like a first person, almost like a point and click adventure, but not quite. It's a bit interesting. This one has a very unique design and it looks creepy and I can't wait to try it. I picked up Rise of Nightmares for the Xbox 360. This is a Kinect horror game that was made by Sega and I honestly didn't know about this. It actually does look pretty good from what I've seen and you do actually have to use the Kinect with this because you're walking around. I heard the controls can be tricky, but it's a good game, and I can't wait to try it. Alright, I got some interesting stuff from Limited Run Games. This is something new that just came out called Flint Hook. It's kind of like an action platformer. It looks good, and it came with the atypical stickers and artwork cardboard sections and I really can't wait to try this one alright this is Darius Burst Chronicle Savior this is a North American version now there is a Japanese version of this but if you want to use DLC it's complicated to use it with North America you have to kind of set up a Japanese PSN account I heard it's not that hard to do but I didn't want to do it so I decided to get a North American version, which was more expensive. The truth is, I actually do have this on the Vita. It, that's a Japanese version, though ironically Limited Run is coming out with a physical North American version for the Vita, but I won't be getting that one because I already have the Japanese Vita version and I'm making do. This, in a lot of ways, is a shoot 'em up gamer's dream because there is so much content on here. There is the Chronicle mode that has like over 3,000 missions. This could take you years to finish. And I mean in a good way. I'm doing the CS mode right now. That's a, It has over 200 missions. I put like 50 hours into that. It's It takes time, but it's a lot. Like, you get a lot of content. And of course, you get the same stickers and artwork. Guys... I do recommend this, and I was so happy a PlayStation 4 physical version finally happened because for some reason, for the longest time, only the Vita version had a physical release, which just made no sense. The only drawback is, I was hoping since they waited so long to do this physical PS4 release that they would include the DLC that they've made so far, and there's quite a bit of it, but they didn't. And Limited Run even admitted this, they would have liked to, but because different Japanese companies have basically let the developer make DLC based off of their shoot 'em ups so in order for that so in order for all that DLC to basically be allowed on the disc it would have required a lot of paperwork a lot of cooperation and it would have taken time so maybe in the future we might get a really big definitive edition which would be awesome but for now this is still great I mean you guys you're gonna get so much content out of this and it's quality like I really recommend you try this out Alright, I got several new games from PlayAsia, and luckily this time it didn't take four months. I got Guilty Gear Exert Sign. This is a fighting game. I've never tried this series, though. There is one on the Dreamcast that I definitely want to get. It looks good, and there's going to be a... And the sequel for the PS4 is getting like a revised version that's coming out physically on the PS4 exclusively soon. 
So I want to give this one a shot before I try the sequel. It looks good, like the artwork, the combat, it all looks really good and I can't wait to try it. I picked up the Capcom Digital Collection for the Xbox 360. This looks pretty damn good. And unfortunately this was never released physically on the PS3 which sucks, but I have an Xbox 360 now, so... And I got it for a pretty good price and you get a lot of good games on here, including Street Fighter including Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix, and I can't wait to try this. Okay, PlayAsia has been doing their own exclusive physical releases, like something like Limited Run Games, like it's a limited print, and the first one was the Vita Shooter, which Limited Run also did. Now they released a new one for the PS4, this is called Blue Rider. This is a shoot 'em up, though it's more like um, I guess a 360 shoot 'em up because you have full like uh, you can you can basically go wherever you want in the level. It's full 360 controls. It looks good, and I can't wait to try it. And you get some awesome stickers with it. All around, this looks good. And there was another limited physical print of another game that they just released, but that I picked up in May, so you guys will see that hopefully in a couple weeks. This looks really good and I can't wait to try it. Okay, last but not least. This is Breakers for the Sega Dreamcast. This is a port of a Neo Geo fighting game. Well, actually, correction. It's not been ported. They're using a custom Neo Geo emulator, but I heard the results are pretty damn good. It just came out and I had to get this. The game looks good and I can't wait to try it. Alright guys, these are my video game pickups for April. It was quite a good month. I just wanted to show you guys everything I got for April. I'll talk to you guys later. This is the Entertainment Wizard, signing off.